He shall read the book of Matthew chapter 21 verses 10 to 11 in the Bible. The Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. You know, in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 46, the Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. In the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 57, the Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. In the book of Mark chapter 6 verse 4, the Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. In the book of John chapter 6 verse 14, the Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. In the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 19, the Bible says Jesus is a prophet of God. In the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 33 the bible says jesus is a prophet of god in the book of luke chapter 7 verse 16 the bible says jesus is a prophet of god in the book of john chapter 9 verse 17 the bible says jesus is a prophet of god and in the book of john chapter 4 verse 19 the bible says jesus is a prophet of god is there in the bible allah has made me to be a prophet and Allah has been be blessed with us so ever I may be. And Allah has enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live. Yes, Jesus prayed according to the Bible. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. He fell down on his face the way the Muslims do. And he worshipped the Almighty God. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Jesus went and offered early morning prayer. Salat al foot So as Sufi. He prayed. To who? He prayed to the Almighty Allah. And Allah has made me to be kind and obedient to my mother, not to be aggressive to my mother. Wassalamu alayya. The peace of Allah is on me. Yawma walitu. The day that I was born. Wayawma amutu. The day that I shall die. Wayawma upasahaya. And on the final day of judgment when Allah will bring me back to life. Is this miracle of Jesus mentioned in the Bible? No. According to the Quran, the message received by the unlettered prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the first miracle performed by Jesus was to speak on the very day he was born. Some Christians say, "No, no, we cannot believe in this miracle." We ask why they say because it is not mentioned in our Bible. Then we ask them, "Does the Bible mention the whole miracles performed by Jesus?" They say yes. We say, okay, open the book of John, chapter 20, verse 30. In the Bible, the Bible says, and I quote, Jesus did many other miracles, signs and wonders in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in the Bible. Jesus did many other miracles, signs and wonders in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded. Where? In the Bible. When certain Christians had this statement, he said, Oga na wawu, na yim be say this our Bible no complete <laughs> Yes. Then there are still other miracles performed by Jesus, mentioned in the Holy Quran, which are not recorded in the Bible. Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 110, you know, to 114, where he prayed. When they asked, they say, can you Lord send down a table of food for us from heaven? Jesus said, fear Allah if you are true believers. They say, we only want to eat from it. And also to be contented to satisfy our heart. And that we should know that you have really spoken the truth, you are a prophet of Allah. And we will be one of the witnesses. Then Jesus raised his hands and he started praying. Allahumma Rabbana anzal alayna maa irata mena sama. Takuna lana idalla awwalina wa akirina wa ayita minka. Warzukuna wa anto kairu al-raziki. Oh Allah, our Lord, send down a table of food for us from the sky. So that... It will be for the first of us and the last of us. A solemn festival and a miracle from you. And provide for us, for you are the best of providers. And Allah answered the prayer of Jesus. I will surely send it down to you. For my And whosoever disbelieve thereafter, I will punish him with a punishment that I have never inflicted on any person before the other miracles of jesus are mentioned in quran chapter 3 verse 49 surah al-ali imran you know and also quran chapter 5 you know from verse 110 
you know, uh, 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 to verse 115. You know, so Jesus said, when that prophet comes, he will tell you many things about me. The birth of Jesus is mentioned in Surah al The birth of Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned in Surah al Ali Imran. From verse 35, you know, to 42, to verse 42. Mary, the mother of Jesus, alayhi salam, with the announcement of the birth of Jesus, the Muslims do not have to read the Bible before they know all these things. That is why in John chapter 15, verse 26, and in John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus said, when the comforter comes, he will bring to your remembrance all that I have said unto you. And he said he will testify about me. Did Muhammad testify about Jesus or not? Even about the physical departure of Jesus. Who revealed this knowledge to Prophet Muhammad? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Quran chapter 4, verse 157 to 158. <clears throat> because of their unbelief and their preposterous statement, Allah Maryam against Mary, Bhutan and Azima, a grievous calumny. And their statement that we kill Jesus, the son of Mary, a messenger from Allah. They neither kill him nor crucify him. Prophet Muhammad was not there when this incident happened. But Allah revealed this knowledge to him. But it was meant to appear unto them like that. Those who defend their end, they are in doubt about that. They have no knowledge of that. They only follow conjecture. Surely they did not kill Jesus. Allah took him away to heaven. And Allah is the exalted in power, the wise. Lastly, John chapter 14, verse 30 in the Bible, Jesus said, and I quote, I will no longer talk much with you because the ruler of this world is coming. John chapter 14, verse 30 is there in the Bible. Revised Standard Version of 1952 and the Revised Standard Version of 1971 and other subsequent editions in the Bible. The Christians and the Jews did not succeed in this distorting this verse. Jesus said, I will no longer talk much with you because the ruler of this world is coming. We ask a Christian, who was the ruler of this world that was to come after Jesus? You see, Ibil and Ishmael from the house of Abraham as a result of the advice of Sarah as mentioned in the book of Genesis chapter 21 verses 8 to 10 when Sarah said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son. For the son of this bondwoman shall not share the same inheritance with my son. And Abraham was not happy. Then God says to Abraham, Abraham, listen to what Sarah has said unto you. Because of the son of that particular woman, will I make a nation because he is your child. So in order to fulfill the divine plan of Allah, not because of the statement uttered by who? By Sarah. Out of jealousy, God Almighty commanded Abraham to take Ishmael away, you know, and place him in the Arabian Peninsula. And that was exactly what happened. And God said that he will make him a great nation. He placed him there, you know, and left him. So up till today, the Jews rejected Ishmael and his descendant. And that is the reason why they rejected the Holy Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and even the Christians. So Jesus was referred so that episode, the you never read in the scriptures, the stone that was rejected by the builders has become the chief cornerstone, meaning haga, the word haga, etymologically or linguistically means what? Stone, hajar, hajara, hajar al aswad, the black stone, haga, the stone rejected by the builders has become the chief cornerstone. Then Jesus said, this is the Lord doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Then he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken away from you and it will be given to the other nation that bear the proper fruit. Meaning, that was the transfer of what? Prophethood. From the Jews to the Arabs. Jesus told them that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and it will be transferred to the other descendant of Abraham. Meaning, the Arabs. Shukran. The Arabs. 
And that was exactly what happened. And this was also mentioned by David in Psalm 118, verses 22 to 26. He saw the vision and he said, The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. I beseech you, O Allah, send down this blessing, send down this prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The last thing, Matthew chapter 23, verse 37 to 39. Jesus said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that killed the prophet and stoned the servants of God, how often will I be with you as a chicken is with her children? I will not listen. Your house is left desolate. Barely, barely, I say unto you, you will never see me again until you are ready to welcome the one sent to you from God after me. And according to other versions of the Bible, he said, you will never see me again until you are ready, until you say, blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When Jesus say he, that is taught person singular, referring to who? Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is that. There are still other, you know, powerful prophecies about Muhammad. But let me, within these five minutes, talk about the Quran, what the Bible says about the Quran. Please, I want you to listen. We all know about the supernatural, unprecedented event that happened to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about six kilometers away from the city of Mecca in the Cape of Hira. When Prophet Muhammad was contemplating, when the angel appears unto him and says, Ikra'a, go, read! The prophet said, Ma ana bikari'im. What shall I? I am not a reader. I cannot read. The angel squeezed him and said, Ikra'a, read! He said, Ma ana bikari'im. I am not learned. The third time, the angel squeezed him and commanded him to read in the name of Allah up to the end of the bath. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam understood that what was required of him by the angel was to repeat what the angel dictated to him. The whole Quran was dictated to Prophet Muhammad gradually for a period of 23 years. Now listen to what the Bible says. This prophecy was made 700 years before the coming of Jesus and about 1,300 years before the august appearance of the holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam i am quoting from the bible isaiah chapter 29 verse 12 listen and the book is revealed unto him who cannot read saying read and he said i am not learned the bible any bible you have isaiah chapter 29 verse 12 and the book is revealed unto him who cannot read, saying, Read, Ikra'a. And he said, I am not learned. Who was that person? When was this prophecy fulfilled? And what is the name of that particular book? And who commanded him to read? The answer can be found in Islam. Lastly, the chronological arrangement of the Quran is mentioned in the Bible. How the Quran is arranged chapter by chapter. Isaiah chapter 28, the same Isaiah chapter 28, verses 10 to 11. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little chapter, meaning here a little su surah, and there a little surah. For with a summary leaf and a new language will that prophet speak to his people. What is that new language? If you don't know that language, go to the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9 in the Bible. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9 and I quote, And it shall come to pass that I will change the language of the people of the world into a pure language that they will all call the name of the Lord in that language and worship me shoulder to shoulder in the same language. Which language? Universal language. Arabic. Anywhere you go in the world, the Muslims worship God. Observe their salat in Arabic. It's the fulfillment of the biblical prophecy. Then listen to what the Bible says. First, uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, verses 9 to 10. Listen. The Bible. It said, 
For we know in part, and we prophesize in part. But when that which is complete come, the incomplete one will be kept aside. When that which is complete come, the incomplete one will be kept aside. That is about what? About the revelation of the glorious Quran. Lastly, how the angel of God brought the Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned in the last book of the Bible. I will conclude with this verse. How the angel of God revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned in the last book of the Bible. What is the last book of the Bible? Revelation. Revelation, that is the 27. Because we have 27 books in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Act of the Apostles, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, you know, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrew, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. Revelation is the last. Now, in this last book, Revelation, listen to what it says. Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 to 7. And I quote, I quote, the vision of John. He said, and I saw the angel of God hovering in the sky, meaning flying in the sky, holding an everlasting book, an everlasting book, and scripture that will be preached to the people of the world, to every nation, to every tribe, to every tongue, to every community, saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is coming and worship him that created the heavens, the earth, the seas and the springs of water. Do we understand the significance of this? He said, and I saw an angel of God, you know, hovering in the sky with an everlasting book, everlasting, the book that will remain forever without any change. You know, that will be preached to the people that dwell on earth, to every nation, to every tribe, to every community, to every tongue, saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him and worship him that created the heaven and the earth, the seas and the springs of water. What is that everlasting and universal book? Jesus made reference to this book of Revelation chapter 14 verses 6 to 7 that is the Quran that will be preached to the people of the world because the gospel of Jesus was meant only for the Jews as he said in Matthew 15 24 I was sent only to the lordships of the house of Israel listen to what Jesus said about this everlasting book in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 Jesus said and this everlasting gospel will be preached to the people of the world as a witness to all the nations as a witness to all what? Yes. The all nations, according to Jesus, before the end of time will come. Jesus is speaking. He said, this everlasting gospel, this everlasting scripture will be preached to the people of the world as a witness to all the nations. There are a lot of things in the Bible about Islam, about the Holy Quran. A lot of things, because Jesus said, when he comes, he will guide you into all what? Into all the truth. The memorizing, memorization of the Quran. Thank you. The Quran is the only divine book on earth today that has been memorized from cover to cover. It's a prophecy in the Bible. It's a prophecy where? It's a prophecy in the Bible about the memorization of the Quran. Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 33. He said, it shall come to pass that I will establish a new covenant with my people, the people of Israel and Judah, not as the covenant I, uh, that I established with their forefathers. Behold, this is my covenant. I will put my law into their mind and I will write it in their heart. And I will be their God and they will be my people. Is there any other book today? Even the book of Genesis in the Bible that have been mem memorized from cover to cover? No, the Quran is the answer to that. 
so in a nutshell insha Allah i will stop here subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaihi